Hey guys, Danny here. Today I'm gonna do I'm doing a video on how to use explorers, any of the explorers, to find token addresses that are in your wallet. And this is a lot of this is going out to Eureka community because a lot of people are new with MetaMask. I just did a, a video on how to back up your MetaMask with your private keys. You're gonna to want to watch that because if you created more accounts under on your MetaMask. The only one that it saves with your 12 word seed phrase is the first one. The other ones you need to use private keys. So make sure you watch that one. Um, so a lot of people are asking, oh, I need a contract address for this. I need a contract address for that. Um, and it's not in my wallet. And I think people don't understand the fact that actually MetaMask, it's, it's just an interface to read what's on the blockchain. All of your assets, everything is on the blockchain. If you don't see it in your wallet here, it doesn't mean it's not in your wallet. It just means you haven't added it yet. And instead of searching around and asking in groups for the contract address, if it's already in your wallet, it's really super easy to find that contract address. Make sure it is the right one, though. The, this might be something you want to verify in a group that you have the right contract address because there's a lot of scam tokens out there. And when you go try to sell it, it'll wipe out your, your MetaMask account. You'll actually sign to connect. And when you sign, it'll take everything you have. You have to be really careful with that. And keep in mind, when I show you this, don't add tokens into your wallet. Don't touch them if you don't know what they are and they just showed up there. You might think, oh, I can go sell these and make some money. And it takes all of your Matic or whichever blockchain you're on. If you're on Ethereum, it'd take your Ethereum. On Avalanche, it'd take all your AVAX. Um, so that's a good reason to set up multiple accounts and back them up with your seed phrase. Your uh, sorry, your your private key, right? So you can store the vast amount of your crypto in an offline wallet and just connect to to D apps with one that you, you don't have too much to risk there you know what i mean okay so one thing about metamask is like i'm on account five right now right that's my account which means i have this address ox71499 right so it doesn't matter which blockchain I'm on. If I switch over to Phantom, you see that doesn't change. OX714. If I switch to Avalanche, OX714. Ethereum, OX714. That's a cool thing. It's also one of the reasons why we created Eureka Smart Chain because we're plugging into this. If something happens and your, your, your assets went to off on a different blockchain, it's still the same address. So you still have that on every single blockchain that is using its EMV compatible, you have that. And you have an explorer on there too. And that's actually the point of this video. So let's get to it. We're going to go to Polygon Mainnet, right? And you see assets. I don't have any here, but I know I have something in my wallet. So how do I add it? It's actually very easy. Click on those three dots there. First choice is view account on Explorer. All right now it says I have zero Matic, which I do, and then you got this tokens down here. There's two tokens there. So if I click on that, you got IPX and I got SOT. Yeah. So if I want the contract address to add to MetaMask, I just click on IPX. Look at that profile summary. That's the contract address. Click on it. Go back to your MetaMask, import token. Just paste it right there under the contract address. Look, it came right up. It recognizes it. Import token. Okay, go back and there it is. So it are, it, it's, it, MetaMask is just reading what's in the blockchain. Your wallet, even if you lose your MetaMask, as long as you got it backed up, you're safe. If you see IPX disappears, don't worry about it. It's still in the Explorer. So let's go back and let's add one more. Show you that again. Tokens, click. Oh, I got social media token. I know that's the token that I have in there, SOT. So I'm comfortable to go ahead and ha add it into my MetaMask so I can use it. Contract address, just click copy, 
Go back to MetaMask under Assets, not Activity. Activity is a different one. Assets, click on Import Token, paste it in there. See, it recognized it, SOT18. Cool. Import Token. Ah, look at that. I've got 10,000. Now, if I want to interact with that token, like as in to send it, boom, there you go. Let me cancel that. So this is the same. That's if 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 we go back, I just close that. Let's go back. View account on explore polygonscan.com. Let's just have a look here. If you want to know whether you receive some tokens or not, look, I know I've got them in there, but where did they come from? If I go under transactions, there's nothing there. Because transactions is for Matic, the native coin on the Polygon blockchain. If I want to see ERC20 token transfers, I click on that, and now we can see IPX and SOT transactions. You get all the 37 days ago, 35 days ago, how much was sent, when it was sent, all the details, and the transaction. This is how you use an explorer, right? And, you know, those are the two big things is to see what's in your wallet and uh, the transactions. Now, if you've got yeah, NFTs in there, they'll also show up here too with a different thing. Um, but let's go back and let's switch blockchains from Polygon to Ethereum, right? It's the same thing. If you think you can see what you've got in your Ethereum wallet by just clicking on the three dots, view on Etherscan. And look at that. You know what? It looks exactly the same, except for there's no ERC20 down here because I don't have any in my wallet. If I did... What I just showed you on the other Explorer would be exactly like this. This is Ethereum virtual machinery compatible with blockchains are all basically what they've done is copied Etherscan, the original one. This is, this is how you look at the blockchain. So if we go to, let's go to Avalanche, see what their Explorer looks like. Now we're on the Avalanche blockchain. Click on the three dots. Let's uh, view account on Explorer. It's snowtrace.io I actually never been on this one but look it's pretty much the same which other one can we look at phantom opera if I want to see what I got in phantom opera maybe you had some IPX sent to your phantom address you don't know what the contract address is easy three dots click you want to explore if it's there you can click on it and go in and get the contract address and put it in and you'll have the transactions down here under ERC 20 this is a test account that I have set up just to do videos with, so I don't have much in anything here except on my uh, on my Polygon, just so I could do a few videos. I got IPX and SOT. So again, if you want to find those contract addresses, three dots, view on Explorer, then you get the tokens here. You can scroll down, click on the one you want copy the contract address, go back to your MetaMask, hit import token, right click, paste it in there, and token's already been added because we just did it. <laughs> if you want to take away a token that you don't know what it is and it's just showed up, I believe, let's see, click on it, so you open it like this, and then up here, click on the three dots, hide IPX, yeah, okay. Now we could go back over into our wallet. There's IPX, click on it. Copy the address, back into your MetaMask, import token, paste, boom, there it is. Add custom token, import token, and go back and look at that. We got 5,003 IPX, that easy. So remember, it's just an interface, your MetaMask wallet, it's not actually a, a very centralized wallet. It's a decentralized wallet. It's reading what's on the blockchain. And that's how you use your Explorer and multiple Explorers, Phantom, Snowtrace, Etherscan, all of them. If it can be added to, uh, if it can be added to MetaMask, it basically have the same sort of Explorer and it's the same system. So yeah, there you go. That's the you, you want to get used to using these explorers so you can uh, be, you know, learn more and be better educated about decentralized finance and what you're doing. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Thanks. Bye.